Good morning, actually no, it's not morning, it's afternoon. Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to another Warfinder video. What? You didn't seriously think I was going to leave you wanting on the day patch 1.79 drops? Well, in fairness I didn't realise that this patch had dropped until I went onto my Facebook page and realised Warfinder had made a post two hours ago stating that it had in fact drop, dropped. Here we are on my uh, in my hangar, obviously, on the Soviet ground forces lineup. First thing I noticed, the T64 T64 B stack card name has changed. It's now just the T64 B rather than the T64 boy T64 B 1984. Was it 1984 or 1983? Anyway, there's no longer a date there, and that's because the ERA has been added. Now. This is going to be my first, um, uh, well, this is going to be my first research for this tank. This is what I've got in mind. This is going to be the first thing I start to research, and I will start researching it as soon as I have access to it. I'll research it before artillery, before the Sabo, before the ESS, before the engine, before the transmission. I will research this. Um, I think I should be able to do that once I have unlocked the suspension, which will give me a little bit of a boost to research. Well, it won't actually, because I've got loads more left to go, but you know what I mean. Research the suspension, and then I can move on to one of these. Um, once that has been done, I will then be able to move on to, or at least I will be grinding alongside it, this. The T62M. Oh my freaking god, does this thing look awesome. <laughs> no fuel tanks again, guys. Jim. What are you playing at? Yeah, let's add those, please. Holy crap, look at this. Interesting how I've got the rubber side skirt sticking up along the side of the tank there. Not just on the lower section of the hull. Let's have a look here, what we got. 30 mm. Hmm. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, this is this is going to be fun. So say this thing can go head on with Abrams tanks at the battle ring. It's been given. It's at 9.0. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy playing this. I'm really going to enjoy playing this. So that's the T62. So while I'm researching the up, for getting the upgrade for the T64 BV, I will also be researching the T62M. Very much looking forward to that. Of course, I'll probably get the upgrade far long, far before I get the actual T62M, because of course there's the case of actually having to buy and crew the damn thing. For the Germans, I'm going to be going for. If I can get a picture up, do 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 do. do I'm going to be going for. Where is it? There it is the Leo 2A4. Let's actually. Sort the research now. I don't want the Rakitin Jagdpanzer Zwei anyway. I don't like fucking ATGM vehicles. Um, obviously, I do have the Begleit Panzer to help me upgrade, uh, help me research the, the Leopard 2A4, which will help me no end. My Russian tanks, I seem to be do reasonably well in, despite not having a top tier grind like premium grinder. But uh, the Germans, I at least, I at least do have one form or another with the Talisman. But yeah, I'll battle rating a 9.7. It is a pretty looking tank mind, isn't it? Despite how boxy and... Eh, I don't know. It's it's going to be decent one way or another. And then we go to the Brits. The Brits have not gotten... This is the Americans red. What are you playing at? Anyway, let's just roll with the punches, shall we? What have the Americans got this patch? Ah, yes. The XM103 and the MBT70. I did. W I did wonder whether they're going to put them into a folder, and it seems they have. Hmm. Well, start researching that. Might as well. The rise is not really of much interest to me anyway. Once I've gr wait, I can grind the Abrams now. What am I doing, man? They must. have Yeah, they've changed this around because I couldn't grind. Uh, I see what they've done. They, deta they detached it from the rest of the line. Right, okay. I was having to grind, or would have had to grind, the T95E1 and the MBT70 in order to get the Abrams. That's no longer the case. Um, unless I'm being stupid and it was never like this and I've just been sitting around with my thumb up my ass waiting, you know. The XM1 has obviously been added. I have considered buying this tank, but... Uh, 
I can't really like I, I can't really warrant the cost of buying it. I really can't. It's probably going to be stupidly expensive. I think it's like 60, 60 quid or something like that, 50 pounds. I'm not sure, but it's too much for me to. I've got military to buy. I can't afford being spending money on this game. I've spent enough money on it in the past. So the Germans we've done. Let's go to the Brits. Now I know for a fact the Brits. I've got something rather, not special, but something that they really, really needed. And that would be the Chieftain Marksman. It is horrifically ugly, I think you'll agree. But it was very much needed. This is quite a big SPAA. And that's one hell of a frontal, well, the whole thing is a weak spot. But that's one hell of a target if I've ever seen one. 25mm of armor, yeah. Um, this thing won't last particularly long, but at least it's there. It's something that you can use. It's got radar. And it's 35mm Ehrlichan cannons. It's going to be decent. What else have we got? Or is that it? I think that's it for the Brits. Yep, that's it for the Brits for ground forces. Oh no, no. They've got the Mark V Centurion AVRE. Again, this is one of those vehicles that I think is very much a... It's a it's not a joke per se, I mean it's going to be useful, but at the same time it's not something you can count on winning a match with. It's not going to carry a team as much as you can carry a team in War Thunder. It's cool though, it's definitely, uh, let's be polite and call it different, shall we? Moving on to the Japanese. Japanese have gotten themselves a top tier ground forces type, uh, vehicle finally, that being the Type 90. You can see I'm still quite far behind on the Japanese. Um, I had started grinding all of this using my uh, heavy tank number 6, but now that's basically nullified by the fact that I've gotten into rank 5, so I'm struggling, but I am slowly chipping away at it. The Italians are still lacking a ground forces tech tree. Still. No surprise there. Now to the French. French have finally gotten themselves a rank 6 ground forces vehicle, which is the AMX-40. The question is, do I continue my grind with the AMX-30, or do I swap it... Oh, fuck it, let's just swap it over. Why not? Grind it with a 7.7 .7 lineup. Why the hell not? 7.3 <laughs> lineup, even. Oh, God. Right. Let's have a look at her, shall we? Now, this is a cool-looking tank. It's not Russian esque by any stretch of the imagination but I like the way the model look I mean it is a beautiful model if we can say one thing about War Thunder they and Gaijin they really do make gorgeous models it's quite a big tank though isn't it I mean it only weighs 43.7 tons but it's quite a large machine I like it though this is definitely on the books as I said at the start of this video I will be grinding the Russian stuff first, just because that's what I know, that's what I love, and more importantly, it's easiest to get to. I can grind out these modifications, I'm actually going to start it once I've finished this video, I can grind out the modifications to the BV upgrade, get that, do a review video on it, um, well not really a re review video because it's not a whole new tank, but do a video on it. Whilst I'm working my way towards that, I'll also be making um, research points to put into the pot in order to get the T62M. So that's the plan. Anyways, what are you looking forward to seeing me drive out then, guys? Let me know in the comment section down below. Obviously, disclaimer, I am playing with a premium account, but as I pointed out, for the majority of the Ground Forces nations, I don't have a top tier premium vehicle. So it's definitely going to be a trial by fire and a test of patience. Thankfully, though, um, I have almost all of next week off cheeky grin there behind the uh, behind the microphone so i will talk to you guys later thank you very much for watching and i will see you guys in the next wolf in the video cheers